1,000 calories in under 90 minutes. Guys, it's one of my most infamous workouts, the 1,000 calorie leg workout, burning at least 1,000 calories in under 90 minutes, more if possible. I get asked about this all the time. I frequently show my Apple Watch at the end of my leg workout that shows over a thousand calories in under 90 minutes. And I have people tagging me, showing me their watches, trying to do a similar sort of workout and wondering how I am able to burn that many calories in such a short period of time training legs. So a little bit of background, I've been working with a new training coach, Jay Tyler, also known as the strength coach, where I'll pop him up on screen at the moment so you can see uh, Jay is the real deal. Uh, Jay's been taking care of my workout programming for almost three months now and he's been writing all of my workouts including my legs workouts so I wanted to show you guys what a thousand calorie legs workout looks like so this is one of Jay's workouts that he's written for me I'm gonna take you guys through the entire workout from start to finish so you can see exactly what exercises are being done how many working sets how many reps what the intensity looks like and you will see the intensity on my face as we progress through this workout ain't nothing to it but to do it let's go so I like to begin all of my workouts with a little warm up. My pre-legs workout warm up involves some cardio on the Stairmaster. So I'll spend at least 10, up to 15 minutes just climbing stairs on the Stairmaster. I get my heart rate up, I get my legs moving, sipping on my pre-workout, making sure that's uh, in the system and ready to go. And then I'm gonna start this workout off with some machine hip thrusts. So I've got six working sets here, but this is really a warm up exercise for me. So what I'll do is I'll do three to four working sets until I hit a working weight of about 12 reps at about a seven RPE. And then I'll hit two more working sets just as a little bit of a, a, a deload. So I'll, I'll get 12 reps where I'm squeezing at the top of each and every rep for at least two seconds, really warming up the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, and getting ready for what is about to be an absolutely disgusting legs workout. So here we go. We're gonna start with leg extensions. We've got a super set here. We're gonna go single leg for 10 reps at about a seven RPE, and then we're gonna double the weight of the single leg, and we're gonna do both legs at the same time. So we're gonna do a standard double leg leg extension going absolutely ham. So we go on to like a nine, 9.5 RPE, trying to get 15 reps. And you guys can see I'm pushing here. I'm really pushing, but the form is on point. So super controlled reps all the way down to the bottom, squeezing at the top of each and every rep, controlling the eccentric, the negative phase of each and every rep. And I'm really trying to hammer my quads here, put as much blood in there as possible. And we are really, really working. We got three working supersets of that single leg superset with the double leg. And then, then it gets really, really hard. We're about to move on to the hack squat after a little squeeze here, guys. Machine hack squat. Five second negative, two second hold at the bottom of each and every rep in a constant tension position, and then an explosion up. Three working sets for 12 reps. Now, I want to point a couple of things out here, guys. The first one is the speed of these negatives, the speed of the eccentric phase. It is five full seconds, not one, two, three, four, five, and you're done, you're counting as fast as possible. It's one, two, three, four, five, hold at the bottom for a count of one, two, and then explode up. The second thing I wanna point out for you guys is the weight I'm using here. I'm using one plate on each side, 40 kilos plus whatever the machine weighs. If I was doing normal tempo hack squats, I would have four, maybe even five plates on each side. And I just wanted to point that out because it really illustrates how intense this rep tempo is. Five seconds on the negative, hold at the bottom in a constant tension position for two seconds before exploding up. Three working sets for 12 reps, and you can really see <laughs> from my facial expressions here, uh, this is really fucking hard, guys. This is excruciatingly difficult, and this is where I'm burning a whole bunch of the thousand calories that we get through in this leg workout. Uh, super, super advanced technique, but if you guys are really interested in challenging yourself and not having to use a whole lot of weight to stimulate a whole lot of muscle growth, this rep tempo is something that I definitely, definitely suggest you incorporate into your leg workouts. Five second negative, 
two second hold, one second explosion. And then we move on to our next exercise. Exercise number four is gonna be our leg press. Conventional reps and sets here, we're going three working sets, we're going for 15 reps, and we're going full range of motion. So I'm coming down on each and every rep to create a 90 degree angle between my calf, my lower leg, and my quad, my upper leg, making sure we got full range of motion. And then once again, you guys will see here, the reps are super controlled. So it's super slow, controlled eccentrics, and then super, powerful controlled concentric or positive reps making sure that we're making the most of this exercise you'll see from my foot position i tend to put my feet a little bit lower on the leg press for me just with my biomechanics i'm a little bit taller so that's how i'm able to stimulate a little bit more quad and kind of take my hamstring a little bit out of the movement as much as possible i mean your hamstrings are always going to be part of the leg pressing movement but just putting your feet a little bit lower on that platform puts a little bit more tension through the quads a little bit more tension through the glutes and takes a little bit out of the hamstrings we got ourselves three working sets by 15 reps and then we're going to move on to the next exercise what exercise we're up to now it's going to be exercise number five i'm losing count moving into some hamstring work some direct hamstring work so the first one's going to be lying hamstring curl three working sets by 12 reps and we've got an interesting rep tempo here as well when it comes to your hamstring, guys, you gotta remember that you're always gonna be much more powerful in the eccentric phase, in the negative phase, than you are in the concentric or the positive phase. So the way you take advantage of that with your hamstrings is to slow down the negatives. So the rep tempo here is I have a three second negative, super slow, super controlled, one second positive, and a two second squeeze at the top, and there it is. We've hit the thousand calories at the 78 minute mark, woo! Set records in this workout. Then we're gonna move on to exercise number six. It's gonna be our lying hamstring curl. So here I'm gonna hit four working sets by 15 reps, and I've taken the rep tempo away here. My hamstrings are, are, are on fire by this point of the workout, guys. So I'm using a lot of weight, so I'm going quite heavy, and I'm really trying to hit like a, a, as many reps as possible, but trying to get to the 14, 15 rep mark on each of the four working sets. So just really trying to drive through the hamstrings with as much power as possible, squeeze at the top of each rep still, and controlling the negatives, but no super slow negatives negatives on this particular movement. We, we really tax the eccentric phase of the hamstring on the lying hamstring curls just before we moved into, uh, into this movement. And then we're gonna hit some poses, of course, because we're getting towards the end of the workout. We've hit the thousand calories already. It's actually being filmed from, uh, I'm, I'm posing into the mirror and it's being filmed from behind the mirror. So um, you're not actually seeing the poses that I'm hitting. You're seeing, uh, you're seeing what the, uh, the MC sees at, uh, at the backstage of a, of a show when the bodybuilders are going through their poses, but at least you can kind of see, you know, I'm just using the posing to squeeze as much blood in there as possible. And then the seventh and final exercise. This is how you know that uh, my workout coach, Jay Tyler, is completely sadistic as he puts uh, walking lunges at the end <laughs> of this workout. So we got walking lunges, walking dumbbell lunges. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of sets with a whole bunch of steps. At this point, to be honest, guys, I, I give up counting. I'm, I'm just like, get me to the end of this fucking workout. Then we're going 20 steps and we've got, uh, we've got ourselves four working sets uh, with these dumbbells. So going up for, for, up for 10 steps, coming back for 10 steps, making sure that it's full range of motion. So you guys will see my back knee touches the floor, doesn't slam into the floor, just touches the floor on each and every rep that makes sure that my uh, front leg is getting that, uh, that full range of motion. It's getting all the way down below 90 degrees, squeezing through the glutes, squeezing through the quads, and really squeezing as much as I possibly can out of this workout. Seven exercises deep, a whole lot of fucking reps, a whole lot of fucking weight and a whole bunch of calories as you guys are gonna see in a moment where we end up finishing this off. At this point of the workout, you can see I've just had enough. I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, get me the fuck out of this place. I've had enough of this train. I need to go get myself some food. I need to go refuel. I need to get some rest in. I know my legs are gonna be sore as fuck for the next week or so, but it's all good, baby, because this is how we make those gains. And here we go, we're about to finish this leg workout off with these last few steps of these dumbbell walk and lunges. Let's go, let's go. Few more steps and we're done.
that's it, that's a wrap. How did we end up? Let's see the watch. Let's show us the watch. How long did we train for? How many calories did we get? There it is, an hour, 45 minutes, 1,348 calories, and that's a wrap. And there you have it guys, one example of a thousand calorie legs workout. Now that is not the only legs workout that I'll do where I'll burn over a thousand calories in under 90 minutes. There's a whole bunch of them. That's just the one I'm doing at the moment as Jay has programmed for me at the moment. But the main thing I wanted you guys to see is the number of working sets, the number of reps, and really more than anything, the intensity that you have to train at to burn that many calories in that shorter period of time. So here's my challenge to you guys. I want you to try this workout as I've laid it out for you in this video. I'm gonna post the workout down below in the description as well, so you have it in, in written format as well, so you can follow it along. I want you guys to try this workout. Give it a shot, give it a shot at least once. If you can't make it to the end of the workout, that's fine, make it as far as you can. And guys, I wanna see those watches, I wanna see those Apple watches, I wanna see those Fitbits, I wanna see those fitness trackers come up, and I want you to tag me and show me how many calories you burn in this legs workout. Guys, as always, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on on whatever device you are watching this video on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to all these drops here on my personal YouTube channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.